I've heard you say you, you're not confrontational by nature. Is that what you said? Or you don't enjoy... Yeah, well, I'm an agreeable person. Yeah. I wouldn't have been a clinician So otherwise. this is remarkable to me because you do go on the offensive when you feel like someone's attacking you, which is, of course, what you should do, I think, in moderation. You did this recently with that fella, Destiny. Yeah. I mean, that was fun to watch. And I thought the two of you, it was an excellent exchange, but you seem to have no trouble calling people out and... Getting a yeah, couple. well, just because I'm agreeable doesn't mean I'm an idiot, you know, and there is a distinction there. And it's yeah. been something I've wrestled with my whole life because I was a peaceable and agreeable child. Okay. And uh, I grew up in a relatively rough town and with relatively rough people. And I had to learn to hold my own. And that was a... I skipped a grade, so I was young and small in my class. That mm -hmm. also put me at a disadvantage, especially athletically. And my friends were like tough kids. Mm -hmm. And you had to learn to defend yourself. And I could defend myself verbally. Okay. So, and I... So as an agreeable person, did you have to learn how to, you know, be disagreeable? Definitely. Have it be uncomfortable, but just keep going anyway? Yeah, I learned that all the time. Every agreeable person has to learn that. Yeah. I mean, that's partly what you do as a therapist. One of the things that, one of the reasons people come for psychotherapy is because they're depressed or anxious. That's very common. Yeah. The other most common reason is for so-called assertiveness training, mm. right? People don't know how to stand up for themselves. Well, those are agreeable people. You know, they're other-centered and and maternal in, in some mm -hmm. fundamental sense. And the problem with that is that it's not a good strategy for dealing with snakes. Yeah. So, you know, everyone's a victim. It's like, no, not everyone. Mm -hmm. Like, there are victims. Of Infants, for example, mm -hmm. you could take care of them. They could use some care. Mm. You know? Yeah. Adult men, they're not infants. Yeah. But I thought it ended well, you and Destiny. Yeah. You know? Because you even said, like, hey, we're getting everything out here. We're trying to... We're trying to come to something, and sometimes you have to be a little unruly in how you yeah, seek it well, out you know, orally, you know? The problem with the... I, I found that likely the most... I had the most qualms about that podcast of any podcast I've yeah. done. Well, the reason is, is, see, I learned this when I was like 24. I learned that I had a proclivity to battle verbally to be right. Okay. Right. And that was a status thing. Mm -hmm. I'm right. You're wrong. So, you mm -hmm. know, that redounds to my credit. Uh -huh. I use my verbal intelligence as a weapon of dominance. Well, I, I stopped doing that when I was like 23. I thought, oh, that's not, that's not, that's the prideful worship of the Luciferian intellect. It's a really bad idea. Like, mm -hmm. seriously, it's a seriously bad idea. And so I don't like talking to people who want to be right. And destiny wants to be right. Also, a massive thanks to Hallo for sponsoring this podcast. Hallo.com slash Matt Frad is where you want to go if you want to try out their entire app for three months for free. It is an absolutely fantastic app. They actually have all of my audio podcasts on there right now, so you can listen to them over there. They have Catholic lo-fi, meditation, amazing stuff. Hallo.com slash Matt Frad to get three months for free. Hey, thanks so much for watching this clip. If you want to watch more clips of me chatting with Jordan Peterson, click these videos somewhere here on this screen. <laughs>